Percentages review. I'm going to go over how to solve problems with percentages. Number one, what is 35% of 700? So anytime you have a percentage, you want to um, multiply by taking it out of the percentage. And to do that, we're going to um, move the decimal back two places, once, twice. And so this is equivalent to 0.35. Not 0.35%, but just 0.35. So now we can go ahead and multiply. And when we do that, 5 times 0 is 0, times 0, and then 35. Add a 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 7 is 21. And so we're going to add like that. Now we need to add our decimal. So in our original problem, our decimal point is 1 and 2. So in our answer, we need to go 1 and 2. So our answer to number 1 is 245. Not percent or anything like that, just 245. Now in the problem, do you, do you see that word of? Do you remember back that of is actually means you can change, you can multiply. Of means multiply. Number two. What per, what is twenty five percent of fifty thousand? So we're gonna do again. We're gonna change that twenty five percent to point two five. And of means multiply, so we can just set this up vertically, times 0.25, and let's go ahead and multiply. So 5 times 0 is 0, and then 0, and then 0, and 0. 5 times 5 is 25. Add a 0. And now 2 times 4 zeros, and 2 times 5 is 10. So let's add these up. Now we need to add our decimal. So we in our problem, it's once, twice. So here it's once, twice. And so our answer is 12,500. Not a decimal, it's a comma. All right, number three. What percentage of 400 is 20? So Look at, just read it carefully. It says percentage of 400. So let's change our percentage to x, and of means to multiply, so we can really say this is 400x. 400 times something is uh, 20. So remember the word is is equal to 20. So is turns into the equal sign, and of, and this turns into our variable, our x. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 400 so we can isolate the x. And so now x is going to be equal to 20 divided by 400. So let's go ahead and do our long division problem. Here's our decimal, bring it up, add a zero. Oh, it looks like it does not go in. So let's put one here and here. 400 goes into 2,000 five times exactly. Now to put that back into a percentage, there's two ways to do it. You can multiply that by or you can move the decimal place once, twice to the right. Both will give you the same answer of 5%. All right, going on to number four. 20% of a forest is cut down. The forest area is 35,000 hectares. A hectare is a measure of area in the metric system. So it's like an, a metric acre. How many hectares are left? Well, it tells us 20% is cut down, so we really want to find 80%, right? So 100% is our total, and it tells us that 20% is cut down. And so really, we want to find 80% that's left. And be careful of these problems that you're reading it carefully. So we started out with 
35,000 and we're going to multiply that by 0.8 because 80% when you take it out of percentage once twice it ends up being 0 0.80 and then you can just drop that zero. So now we're going to go ahead and multiply. So 8 times 0 is 0, 0, and then 8 times 5 is 40, bring up my 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. And I have one decimal place here, so I need one here. And so my answer is 28,000. 0, 0, 0. There's my decimal like that. And this is in hectares, and it's abbreviated HA for hectares. Number five, 10% of a barrel of oil is turned into plastic. A barrel of oil contains 42 gallons. How many gallons are not turned into plastic? So if we're asking not plastic and it says 10% is plastic, so we really want 90%. That's the not plastic, right? So 42 gallons times 90%, which is 0.9, so 90% is 0.9. And now let's go ahead and just do our simple problem. One space, one space. So our answer is 37.8 gallons. Number six. Joshua trees in the Mojave Desert occupy 25% of a piece of land. The land has 450 hectares in total. How much land is made up of Joshua trees? So this one we don't need to subtract because it's saying that this amounts Joshua trees and they're asking what percentage of the land is Joshua trees or how much. So 25%, um, we're gonna multiply our hectares. So 450 hectares, 25%, is 0.25 and we can go ahead and do our math here Alrighty. and like that and then we're going to add them together and then our decimal we have one two so we need one two and so the answer is 102.5 five hectares. Number seven, a water tank holds 500 gallons and is 35% full. How many gallons are in the tank? So this is one where we um, have we don't have to subtract or anything. It tells us we have 500 gallons and it's 35% full. So it really wants to know how many are in the tank. So how much water is in there. So we can just multiply that by 35%, which is 0.35. And we can go ahead and solve. And we have two decimal places. So we need two decimal places here. So our answer is 175, oops, not grams, it's gallons. Like that. And number eight. A teenager drinks 480 calories of soda. Soda calories are from sugar. She also eats another 1920 calories of other nutrients that day. What percentage of calories were from the sugar? So let's find our total first. So in order to figure this out, we need to figure out what percentage of the total is equal to 480. So let's go ahead and add 1920 plus 480 to get our total amount. And it is 2400 calories in total and it's a capital C because it's actually kilocalories and we call that just a capital C calorie if you remember that from chemistry so that's the total number and so it's going to be x is going to be our percentage and 
So some percentage of 2400 is going to equal 480. And so that's how we're going to need to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and put um, both of these with 2400 and then our 2400s can cancel. And so our x is going to be equal to 480 divided by 2400. So one of the ways that we can just simplify it a little is to cross off the same number of zeros on the top and the bottom. Notice I didn't cross out all the zeros. I just crossed out one he on the top and one at the bottom. And it just makes the problem a little less cumbersome with a lot of zeros. So let's put a decimal. Let's pop it up to the top add a zero and look behold it goes in evenly twice and so now we're going to change this into a percentage and we can do that by multiplying by a hundred and or moving the decimal over twice one two and so this is twenty percent don't just move it to the end and say it's two percent that's wrong so you have to move the decimal over twice or multiply by 100, 0.2 times 100 is 20%. And that's it.